Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to do a um, cross-country uh, motorcycle trip from Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, essentially to Washington State uh, in Western United States. And so <clears throat> I just wanted to go over real quick in the event that this might help you plan for your uh, long distance rides, um, sort of my loadout. Uh, I've done this once before. I went to Sturgis in 2018, uh, rode from Charlotte, North Carolina to Sturgis, South Dakota. Um, and so just sort of wanted to give you kind of an idea of how I do my loadout. I'll say that uh, um, when I go cross country that I camp along the way. So that might be national forests, that might be state parks, BLM land, uh, what have you. So uh, I basically live off the bike. Um, and I pack my food along the way. So I'll just sort of give you, um, you know, kind of a uh, just general overview of, of, of what I do. So the, the bike that I take is a 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Um, I have the full size uh, trunk and then the standard uh, saddlebags on this bike. I mean, this bike has a stage one kit in it, a couple other modifications, but really nothing special. Uh, stage one kit, um, uh, psycho exhaust, uh, Reinhardt performance headers, and then factory 47 uh, mini apes. Uh, really just sort of just to make the bike uh, comfortable. But I'll go over from left to uh, left to right on the bike, uh, sort of how I set it up. So uh, what I start with over here is uh, I bring a jacket along. Um, I uh, have an Alpine Stars uh, really old uh, performance jacket, a race jacket, but um, fits really well. Does a nice job. It's perforated, um, so it's just enough in um, you know 50 degree weather to keep you warm, even though it's perforated. All right. So starting off on the left hand side of the bike, uh, down here I have uh, bungee cords. And uh, in this, uh, in this uh, Corona bag, I have bungee cords and then a bungee net. Um, this right here keeps my rain gear in it. This guy right here is just your regular cheap um, uh, air pump, mechanized air pump that you can plug into a pigtail on a motorcycle or a 12 volt. Um, uh, and this guy right here is a Dark Angel. That is a uh, trauma kit. So basically airway, uh, cat, hemostatic, all that good stuff in there. Uh, shears, all that kind of good stuff. A couple extra bulbs just in case I need them to make a change. Um, always keep duct tape with me. That's a siphon. Uh, hand pump siphon so if I needed to pump any kind of liquid or you know sort of fuel or whatever I could do that I always keep an air gauge with me as where as well too um, a tool kit right uh, with zip ties a leatherman uh, a kickstand uh, a plate uh, in case you know, I end up somewhere muddy or whatever where I need a little bit of extra surface area. Uh, a full quart of oil. And then I always keep uh, a rope saw with me as well too. Uh, so that's essentially what I keep on the left-hand side of the bike. So that would be uh, this right here. That's essentially sort of like, you know, the bad day kit on the, uh, on the Harley Davidson. The helmet that I'm using for this particular trip is a uh, uh, showy uh, RF-1200, um, Sudici gloves, and then the Alpine Stars jacket. The showy RF-1200, it says that it comes with uh, a visor. I have pin lock installed on this one, but it says that the visor is 100% UVA and UVB protective. We will see. Um, I got sunburned the last time. Uh, I went to Sturgis, so we will see if that's actually the case. All right, so we're moving along to the trunk now, uh, which is a full-size trunk on the Harley-Davidson. Uh, that's that guy right there. Anyways, full-size trunk, not the half. Um, and this is what I pack in my trunk because uh, I'm rarely ever in it as I'm riding. Uh, so that's a, an MSR Elixir 2 
two person tent. It's a fantastic tent. Um, I've been in really nasty weather with it. It's absolutely uh, great. I can't say enough good things about it. I never sleep two people in my tent. I just like the extra room. Uh, so that's, uh, that's essentially what I do. Um, this is my clothes bag right here. I just essentially take uh, synthetic tops, um, SPF 50 uh, fishing sun shirts, and then an additional um, change of jeans. But really, I don't take too many clothes. I just basically take a second set of clothes. Um, as soon as I get into camp at the end of the day, I will uh, wash my underwear, typically wash my socks, change into all fresh stuff, and then it dries overnight. And if it's not dry by the time I leave, I just strap it onto the bike and it'll dry over the course of time uh, as I ride. So a little bit more into my camp. This is just a really crappy, like basically Walmart uh, synthetic uh, bag, sleeping bag. Uh, it's 20 degrees. I basically unzip it. I don't bother getting into it. I just use it as a cover. That is a uh, an REI. This actually might be Big Agnes. It is Big Agnes. Uh, that's an Air Core. Uh, I've not used it before. I was in a um, Thermarest uh, before, and I did not really like it. So we'll see how the how the Air Core uh, from Big Agnes works. Um, this right here is my Esbit alcohol stove. Um, so I'm taking my food along with me, primarily uh, freeze-dried. We'll go over that in just one second. But uh, typically uh, just freeze-dried food. Um, maybe I'll have a snack here or there at a, at a Love's or a gas station or something like that where I can get uh, something halfway healthier, halfway decent. I always keep uh, rain gear with me. So this is Patagonia rain gear. I use it for backpacking primarily, but um, it fits over my... Uh, my leathers and my gear for for my motorcycle so i just requisition that and then i keep uh three or four microfiber towels uh for showers and then for cleaning my visor on my uh, motorcycle helmet and anything else that i need to clean uh, in the green uh, bag is essentially you know toothpaste toothbrush uh, you know basic medications that i need on a regular basis and then in the red in the red bin is, is essentially this is my boo-boo kit right so it's got band-aids ointments uh, rubbing alcohol uh, hydrogen peroxide that kind of thing okay um, moving on to sort of the back of the bike um, what we've got here is I keep this bag on the passenger seat I um, bungee it to the passenger seat and essentially what that carries for me in the white uh, thermos I keep ice cold water so it's got ice in that um, in this small thermos right here I've got a uh, yellow heat which is for my uh, esbit um, alcohol stove so that's that's the the fuel for my alcohol stove to to cook with and then um, that is a little bit of bourbon to be honest with you and then um, here I keep a Nalgene water bag uh, just to drink water with I keep that on the right side of the bike um, I keep that right here uh, there with my camera tripod etc I'm using the Osmo Pocket for this particular trip. Um, so anyways, I, I, I keep that as just, uh, you know, where I can just jump in and, uh, and grab some water real quick when I stop for fuel. And then I'm trying these out right here. Um, these are called Good to Go. I got them, I think, on REI. I uh, also have Mountain House Meals in there as well, too. That's what's in the, uh, in the yellow uh, sack. So breakfast, lunch... Or I'm sorry, breakfast and dinner, and then lunch I'll do like at a Love's or something like that um, along the way. And then um, my power supply for my phone and for my Osmo Pocket and a couple other different things. 
Uh, that's the big boy. Um, this is all anchor. So uh, anchor wall charger, anchor battery, and then the 12 volt that I use on the actual bike itself uh, is also anchor. Um, I just, they're super, super reliable. They've always done a really good job for me. Um, and so that's, that's why I essentially I use anchor. So, um, this battery pack is plenty. I think it gives me six charges on my galaxy S nine plus, and then it would also give me some charges on, um, on my Osmo pocket. So that's essentially it. I mean, that's basically what it, what I use to go cross country. Um, on the Harley Davidson on the on the road glide uh, I don't know what the estimated weight is on that but it's it's not a lot so essentially uh, bad day kit on the left hand side sleeping dinner clothing etc out of the trunk um, I work out of this on my on on my daily ride so this would have water this would have the camera um, sort of anything else that I might want or need. Um, and then again, the Chrome Industries bag, which is fantastic. It's a waterproof bag. It has uh, a double liner in there in terms of um, you can actually keep uh, liquid, free falling liquid in one section of the bag and then, you know, it's dry on the other side. So uh, that's a great bag for, uh, for, for riding. You don't have to worry about it. It's a roll top, uh, completely dry and, uh, and good to go. The other thing I'll say, I think I forgot this one, this, this guy right here, but I always keep, uh, a full set of Merino wool. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm leaving basically in August to ride cross country. So it's going to be hot. I never, um, I never ride without a full set of Merino wool been many times where I've, you know, even in the summer where at night, all of a sudden, you know, I've needed some warmth and you just, the value of carrying Merino wool with you on a regular basis is, uh, is priceless. So full Merino wool top and full Merino wool bottoms. And then obviously I do Merino wool socks, um, regardless, uh, if I'm riding in the summer or winter or whatever else it is. So, Hopefully this is a little bit helpful in terms of uh, if you plan on uh, doing your own long distance trip. Again, this is about two and a half weeks for me. I can live off of this bike. Um, and that's that's what I take for, uh, for two and a half weeks. So hopefully you find this helpful. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.